Welcome back, everybody, and uh, it's time for the Consecrated Sphinx Cube Draft, right here on MagicTheGathering.Internet. I'm going to take this uh, Sphinx and not even going to think twice. Not even going to Sphinx twice about it. <laughs> you spent a reasonably fungible currency instead of not... Is it fungible? Fungible? I don't even... Take that idiot burb monster. Yeah, this card is unbelievable. There were some, um, there was actually apparently some contention about me taking a, a Sphinx in a different draft, or people were like, you're overestimating it or something, some nonsense. And then, then like, one of the first comments on the video was, have these people ever cast a, a Sphinx? And I'm pretty sure the answer was no. I'm going to take Snapcaster, because that's a great follow-up for a Consecrated Sphinx. We can also take an Ugin, but I'm going to stay on, I'm going to stay on target. Are we a Thassa deck? I think Thassa is actually better than Into the Royal, especially if you have a lot of blue pips. Like a 5-5 five five that makes your guys unblockable is pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. I'm going to take Thassa. We're going we're gonna to be heavy blue. We're going to be on the blue train. Choo-choo! Sword of Body and Mind. That's one of the best swords in the cube, you dummies. You stupid dummies. I'm gonna take this. Unless you got a unless you got an Eldrazi boy, this is gonna be uh this is gonna go the distance. All of our cards are blue based. Get em. Just kind of get em. Gonna take that blue train to Flavortown. That's right. That's right. This card is so bam. So bam. What do we got here? Lumbering Falls, which is kind of a trap because we don't want to be blue-green again. Looter's probably just great. Yeah, I think it's Looter. I think it's better than any of these. None of these other cards pull me in a direction. I don't want to be Jeskai. I'm not thrilled with Bontu's Last Reckoning. Skin Render is still black. I'm not super into that. Looter's just really... Uh, it's just a good card. Come on. Don't be silly. Well, our blue has run out, but there is a Tundra, which is nice. There's also an Electrolyze, which I like a lot. So we can, we got to decide whether we want to go blue white with a white fix with one of the best white fixing lands, or blue red with one of the one of my more favorable blue cards. Red cards, blue red cards. It's also a good target for Snapcaster. I'm gonna go Electrolyze. I like blue red more than I like blue white in the cube. I think. Also, if we get a Deceiver XR, or Kiki G, Kiki Pestermite, or a Splinter Twin. We can do a thing. Tempest Gin. Hmm. We might. Oh, what if it's just. What if we're just like mono blue? I'm going to take this Tempest Gin and maybe we play it. Ooh, Gotham or Stratus Dancer? I think I like the Gotham better here. Which is really weird to say. I'm gonna take the Gotham. Okay, Smuggler's Copter. Actually, I'll take the Banefire in case we want to uh, go red.
Blue Jean, baby. I guess we'll just take Shambling Vent. We're not going to play any of these other cards, but if we happen to get... Well, I guess I'm glad this is still here. I'm going to take the Pyroclasm. Again, another solid blue blue red card. Thank you. I make dance. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Yep, Maloku is fine for what we're trying to do here. Relic is whatever. Trigon Predator is a dude. Dude, uh, our sideboard's kind of all over the place, but I mean, these are definitely playable. Depends on how deep we want to go with the blue, but this Thassa and this Tempest Jin are a nice. <sighs> lucky, 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 lucky. So we opened Consecrated Sphinx and we opened Jace the Mind Sculptor. Seems good. So here we can take Dungeon Geists. I like Compulsive Research a lot. It also works very well with Snapcaster, and it might actually table. I also like Dark Dwellers, but I don't think we have a real reason to be a different color yet. Like, these are great cards, but I'm going to take the Compulsive. Yeah, the Mono Black did have potential. What can you do? Mole Drifter? That's like all I've ever wanted. Kira seems good too, actually. Also, two pips. I'm going to take the Mole Drifter and maybe the Kira comes back because Kira's not highly sought after. Oh, Master of Waves would be great here. Master of Eggs. Master of Huevos. Teferi, oh yes. Oh yes, all the blue pips in the world. Oh yeah, I'm real excited about this mono blue deck right now. If we get a Scalding Tarn and a Steam Vents, I'm probably just going to play Electrolyze. Maybe Banefire as well. I think they're both very good. Uncounterable X damage. This deck looks great. Vendillion Click. I, as you guys know, I'm not a huge Vendillion Click fan, but I think in the mono blue deck with two blue pips and uh, being a flying creature that can put a sword on it, I am uh, way more okay with it. This is 13 cards so far, and we still have two packs, like a pack and a half. I think we're like four picks into this pack. Four picks into this packed. <laughs> I actually like Pact Navigation here. I, we could be Wandering Fumeral, but it's not an island, which I have a big problem with because of Tempest Gin. And I just have no reason to be red when there's a very, very good blue card in the pack. Oh, man. I wish we could take this. I mean, theoretically, we can't. Oh, we have a Maloku, though. That's the only thing it's good with, though. I, I think it's just Walking Ballista here. God, do we just take Opposition? Alright, I'm going to take the Opposition. I think it's... I like Legacy's Allure a lot. Thing in the Ice is fine. We can just take all the blue cards and our deck is actually just fine. Oh, sort of Light and Shadow. Probably not main decking it, but I do like the option to have that. The Kira came back. Oh my god. This deck is gas. We will have to pay four mana to equip with the Kira, but I think that's fine. All right, so we can actually, all of these are playable. I would play Careful Consideration. I would play Thing in the Ice. I would play Kira. I would 100% pl play Legacies of Lore. So. Sunbird's Invocation. Ooh, that's interesting. Chicken Mike, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, that's a great name.
I mean, I think the two cards I'm not sold on the most are Opposition and Maloku. Um, because Maloku is not as impressive uh, in the in the in this cube, I don't think. And um, and um, opposition is not great without Maloku. Serendipity Freak, Gifts Ungiven. Eh. Not a great pack. Serendipity Freak might just be fine, though. I mean, this might just be the X4 Power Flyer deck. This pack's not super great. Whatever, I'll just take Serendipity. A card that will sh assuredly come back anyway, but... I want to take Dissipate. I don't think it's 10 mana Ulamog here. I do like having some counter spells, though. Ooh, I like Time Warp a lot. Probably more than Repeal, actually. We don't have any Planeswalkers, though. Ah, we have a Jace, I guess. Yeah, it's also nice because we have uh, Snapcaster Mage and Thing in the Ice. So we could actually flip Thing in the Ice with Time Warp and... This is only 21 cards. We, we, we couldn't play this. Forbid. Ooh, Forbid's very good. So is Sword of Feast and Famine. Actually, so is Warm Coil Engine. And Dismember, actually. Dismember might be good because we don't have actually very ways, many ways to remove. Yeah, I think we're good on threats. I don't think we care about Warm Coil. I think I just want the Dismember. As a blue deck, we don't have a ton of ways to remove things. Hmm. Revoker is actually just fine. Clearly, we're not a show-and-tell deck. Porcelain Legionnaire. <laughs> it's playable. Mm. Not thrilled about it. Old Man of the Sea is also playable. Maze of Ith? Okay. Like, all these packs have, like, one card, and we're just glad it's a, it's a cube, so that we can take the good like it's gonna be okay at the worst i guess how many instants and sorceries do we have to trigger our wow gifts i'm given not really playable we need one more card that i, I that i that i actually want to play rather than feel like i have to six cards that trigger thing in the ice it's not terrible I mean, we can easily play Serendib or Old Man of the Sea here. Old Man of the Sea also, uh, there's a lot of creatures this can take. McGimp, we went 3-0. Well, Gravbolus is fine. I'd rather just play Old Man of the Sea. I assume this is going to be our deck. Man, we didn't get Cryptic Command or Dismiss, which is interesting. Oh, Forbid came back. All right, we can take the Old Man in the Sea out. I like having two counter spells. I think this is probably the deck. I might just cut the opposition. I just don't. We have 11 creatures, and I don't really want to tap many of them. 
Although, I mean, like, even if you can't shut down their lands, just being able to shut down, like, their biggest creature is still pretty good. Plus, we can make wolves. All right, we're going to keep the opposition in. I just convinced myself. I don't want to play Maze of Ith that doesn't tap for mana. I'm just going to submit like this. I think this deck is sweet looking. I don't know if it's going to be good. But we definitely have a lot of good cards in it. I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand. It's really slow, but we have a lot of things we can draw, and we have a Jace, so. I don't know if that's good or not. But we're going to give it a shot. Old man, take a look at the sea. It's a lot like you. That's a nice... uh. It's a nice Neil Young meme. Okay. That's actually fine. I like our curve. If they just play this guy, Jace is in good position. If they don't play anything, Jace is in bad position. I'm not sure if I play a Jace into three untapped mana. I'm going to counter this just because I don't want them to get a free spell and I don't want them to have two power on board against our Jace. It's probably a pretty bad counter, but Jace being on board is very strong. Don't daze me, bro. Okay, we'll put you back. Put you back. <sighs> lucky, 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 lucky. All right, well, I like that now we're in a position where our Pact of Negation is live. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if they're going to Pact of Negation, pay five next turn, and you don't get a Kite Cell Freebooter, or you just take the Pact of Negation, and I can potentially kill your Freebooter at some point and get it back, so... <sighs> they might tap out here because... If they use, yeah, I was actually hoping they would use a removal spell, because now they don't, they didn't see consecrated sphinx because we tucked it, so now they probably don't have another instant speed removal spell, which means we should draw at least two with consecrated sphinx. Oh yes, the value has already been real. It was lucky because they played a, a red source and they had an, an X spell for exactly enough mana. That's, that seems pretty lucky, right? Like, it's the only red source we've seen so far, and they happen to have a fireball effect and exactly the right amount of mana to kill a Jace. That seems, that seems lucky to me. I don't know. I will not block. Seven. Sure. 
sure. Yeah, that was pretty obnoxious. Well, I don't have an unfortunate, 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 unfortunate meme, so, like, I feel like we can just deal with the fact that I have the lucky, lucky, lucky clip and we, we just used it there. I think we'll be okay. We can go Moldrifter into Thassa, which seems pretty good. Probably not going to play Sphinx again until we know it's safe. Yeah. I guess it's probably pretty safe now. We can also go Kira, Equip, Equip, which seems pretty good. They'd have to target it twice. That seems good. We can also block the Locust God, and their tokens can't block our Kira. So they have to have two removal spells right now that are non-blue. Why not slam Sphinx again? Because I'd rather just start attacking with uh, Kira, and if we play Sphinx again, then they can just probably... I mean, like, one removal spell kills a Sphinx, whereas they have to have two non-blue removal spells to kill Kira. Yeah, that's pretty good. They're, they're unlikely to have two black removal spells now that kill Kira. Especially as a 4 4. Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. We're just going to attack and kill the Kite Sail Freebooter, then keep up the beautiful, beautiful Consecrated Sphinx with Force Spike and Pack Navigation. I assume you're not blocking here. Pro blue is pretty huge here when all your creatures are blue except for the kite sail freebooter. Oh, interesting. That's what we were afraid of, actually, so I'm glad to see that guy hit the bin. Here comes a man. Oh, you just survive? That seems uh, pretty good. I'll draw, you'll draw, everybody draws. Time Warp seems pretty game winning here. Every time they do this, I'm just like, okay, well, that's fine. Do we want to draw two here? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Probably not going to do it again, but I think we can go to nine here. We're going to play a land, which drops us to eight. We can easily play a Thassa here, which is turned on. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a game.
Like, now they have to block, and then they can't block after time warp, and we have four spikes, so. Oh, man, we could have also played opposition and tap this guy. That would have been fine, too, but time warp feels cooler, and we get to Pact of Negation. We could have also played Thassa and made this unlockable. Like, we have a lot of different ways uh, to have won this game. I don't actually have to show them anything else, right? I can just pass here. Uh, we'll discard careful consideration. However, if they do have an Eldrazi in their last 10 cards, that's pretty sad. I mean, our hand has three counter spells in it. I'm not terribly concerned. All right. Do not click on that button. Okay. Kite Sail Freebooter, Baleful Strix. Can't get Locust God unless we actually, if we have a sword on this guy, we can. They have Nicol Bolas, uh, so we can bring in this guy. Got the careful consideration. We have enough card draw. They have Nicol Bolas Planeswalker and they have Locust God. Locust God, less concerning. If you want to spend four mana to lead Mega 1 1, that's fine. Um, old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. This is a long wait. This is a long wait. Yeah, we could have played Opposition, tapped the Freebooter. We could have played Thassa, made it unblockable. Actually, we couldn't have made it unblockable, right? Because we have uh, Kira on board, so... We could not actually target it. Uh, because it was both a blue spell and... Because Kira's first ability would counter it, so... Several reasons why. This hand actually seems fine. I think any hand with a Kira in it's very, very good. Being able to blank their removal. I don't really want to drop Revoker here, but maybe I do. I think we can wait. We can also get a Kira down too, which is pretty good. I don't think we saw many counter spells, if any. I'm just gonna run out Kira. I'm also not afraid of their four drop. I think this is gonna get countered. I don't feel great about it. Nope, it resolves, all right. Oh, are you going to sacrifice something? I don't think that's an option, but... Oh, Toxic Deluge for two. That's pretty good. I 
I'm just gonna pass here. We don't need a compulsive yet. Oh, they missed the land drop. I feel like if we play Maloku, it just dies. Like, they have to have Terminate in hand, right? Like, we can easily just go end of turn, Vendillion, click them. If they kill that, then Consecrated Sphinx or Maloku have a better chance of surviving, so... Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what you have. Locust God, Hero's Downfall, Crater's Claws. Days. Alright, so Days is worth noting. This whole hand is worth noting, actually. This is a very good hand. So I guess we're taking the hero's downfall because you can cast that. I do want to hit lands here. Give me two lands. Oh, one land. I'm gonna discard two cards. Probably gonna get a revoker. Oh, they actually did show me the hand. All right, cool. That's good to know. And... I want to keep up for bid. Maloku and Opposition are what we want. Concerted Sphinx, we want this. I guess we can get rid of... We could just... God, Tempest Djinn is huge, though. I mean, they have Obnixilis. I don't know if they have a way to deal with Tempest Djinn. Like, we can counter their Locust God, which is not coming down for a million years. Like, they're going to daze it if we do it now. I think it's actually just opposition. I don't think we care about the opposition. I think it's just too cute here. If they go daze, then we get to go Pact of Negation, have a huge dude on board. And then there's still a turn behind. So we have a 6-4, and we have 9 power and flyers on board. That's a 2-turn clock. Oh, wow. They actually just passed there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that might be the game. I mean, if you hit Terminate, it's pretty good. The two draws to hit a terminate. Lucky, 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 lucky. Of course it was one of your top two cards. Oh well. Oh, they didn't daze that. That's fascinating to me. Alright, I don't know what's happening right now. Okay. Nine, yeah. So you're gonna six? Tempest Gin is lethal. We know five of the seven cards in your hand. You can't cast this or this or this. So you can remand or Like, none of these cards do deal with this guy. I mean, I just don't think they want to go back to two mana, but, I mean, if you're stopping a 6-4 flyer or a Pact of Negation, which is going to kill you with the 6-4 flyer, then I don't understand, really. Oh, good games. Got the I'm a big fan. Good luck in future endeavors. Really appreciate it. Nice, nice. Our deck is cool. I don't know how good it is, but we'll see. I mean, their deck didn't seem terrible, so.
think we're keeping this hand. All right, lands. I get it. God, just remember we take four. Can you zoom in on that card? I can tell which member it is. Oh, this one? This member? Okay. Do we just kill this guy and take two extra points? Or do we actually... I guess we'll see what you play. Nothing. Nope, that's not going to do it. Boop, boop. Well, we took two for nothing, but now we get to keep up for bid. And I don't want them to have a creature on board uh, when we play Jace, so. I actually think I discard two islands and keep Forbidden Hand. Yep. Because we have a Jace on an empty board, so. That seems good. Seems nice. Scootin' doop and doo doo doo. Harmonizes just fine. That is not a threat. That's kind of a threat, but just barely. Hmm. I really don't want to take Forbid down. We're just going to do this. If we hit a Maloku, it's pretty good. Oh, Tef. Big Tefs. Oh, yes, please. Put these two back. Play this one. I'm going to keep all the gas in hand because they're not playing black. So I feel like I'd rather just have this in case something happens. I mean, we have, we have Pact Navigation now, so I'm not... It's kind of annoying. I'm going to counter this just because it can deal with Teferi. Sure. Like, they knew we had Forbidden Hand still. Or they didn't, and they were like, oh, you just bought that back. I didn't even notice. Yeah, we're just going to Jace again. Oh, I just saw your name. <laughs> Man, this is a lot of islands. I'm glad we uh, glad we pitched those islands to forbid. Now we're just gonna ambush with a Teferi, keep up Pact of Negation. Could have also played Consecrated Sphinx and started plussing Jace. I think that's probably what we're gonna do next turn. I think it would have been better this turn, but I don't like taking. The I guess we're not we're never taking the shields down because of Force of Will. So. I'm going to eat the Elf of Deep Shadow, just in case they need black for anything. Actually, also, Consecrated Sphinx gets Flash now, which is significantly better. Actually, maybe we should just let that resolve. We have a Consecrated Sphinx. No. 
nope, you can have your noble hierarch. I'm just gonna sit behind Jace here. Or sit behind Tefri, rather. Acidic Slime. Primeval Titan. Oh, that's very good. Oh. Huh. Put all non land permanent cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest. Okay, well, that's pretty good. They don't have any red mana, so that's pretty good. <sighs> we have two of the third deck is actually pretty sweet. Thrastodon. And Green Warden. So four, five, six. You can play Green Warden here. Get back Beast within. Does not do much. We played Kira uh, as a sorcery at sorcery speed because I don't really want if they if they try to kill Teferi and then we play Kira in response, then the ability is too late. Green Warden. Green Warden. Yum. That's much different. Hmm. I see. There's a lot of lands. I'm just going to keep on digging here. Oh my god. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 15 out of 17 lands in our deck. That's gross. I don't actually know how we beat this deck. That's ridiculous. All of our creatures are going to just play at sorcery speed, not flash. Give me them two more lands. All right, there are two lands in our 17 card deck now. <sighs> Is this damage? Oh, good. You can deal the damage to a planeswalker. Oh, actually, you whiff. Finally whiffed. All right, seems good. Here comes Terastodon. Actually, this is actually not bad. They have to kill Opposition and Jace here, I think. And then we tap down Battlesphere. They can't target. It's non-creature. That'd be sick, though, if they could target creatures, though. Yep. That is unfortunate, but... We do get to kill a Johnny, which is nice. Oh, 
All our creatures have flash. Snapcaster is not bad. We get a forbid. Hmm. It might just be dismember on something big. Like, we know they have Corsair, Xenagos, and Green Warden in hand. The problem is, like, if we kill either one of these, they just Green Warden and get it back. So I really want to keep Snapcaster up to not deal with that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We take 9. If we double block, they get to kill Teferi and an elephant. This is not good. In nine turns, Legacy Slayer is very good. Totally normal guy. I'm not a huge Popper fan. I, I actually like the power level of more expensive magic cards, uh, which is why. I mean, I, that's a weird reason, but I just, I mean, there's so many formats that I just can't get into all of them, so. Corsair of Cruffix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we knew you had that actually. Always yes. That's actually very good. <sighs> Pretty sure we can't actually attack here. We just want to pass. They draw catacombs, we draw two cards. Well, that's actually, that was actually a great draw. We can play both of those. Okay. That's not how you spell catacombs, but that's okay. We're gonna take four from this guy and four from the dismember, which is pretty brutal. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We want to keep six mana up. So we have five left over. So we can actually play everything in our hand. Oh my god, hold on. What do we do here? Can we go thing, thing? That's only two. That's two spells, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not going to stop anybody from attacking. So get in there with your mirrors. You got it. Cause it's a you, babe. So eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this member's gonna cost us. All right, what are our blocks? I don't think we care about Thing in the Ice. We want to get rid of the Battle Sphere because... 
Actually, do we just get rid of the Kira too? We just double block here? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, they don't have... I, I don't think they're going to have any other removal spells, but... Hmm. Fascinating. Actually, we could have played Snapcaster and double blocked. That would have been pretty good. Or we can just block like this, and it's actually all we lose is thing in the ice. Oh, we don't want this guy attacking again. That's the problem. we just go to two here? I feel like we can safely go to two, but then like they have four or five, they have a lot of creatures to attack with. We get to keep Sphinx. We are gonna steal this Courser and gain a life. That is our plan. Presumably they All right, we're going to risk it for the biscuit here. God, we should have blocked with Snapcaster instead of Kira. That was so bad. Because we're going to dismember the Terastodon instead. We're going to go to two, but I, th I think that's okay. We have Dissipate in hand if they play Green Warden at the end of the turn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12. We have 14 damage on board. Not enough. Yep, we knew that was there. I assume you're getting a red source, maybe? I don't know. You're probably getting a green warden. We are at a precarious two life. Here comes Green Warden for Battle Sphere. That's my theory. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure we have to dissipate this. That just kills uh, Consecrated Sphinx, which is pretty bad for us. Yep. Oh, Westvale Abbey. Oh, they had six mana this turn? Jeez. Oh, Vivian Reed was really bad for us. It's just got to be Mere Battle Sphere, right? I mean, you play it next turn, and then you can kill us the turn after that. I'll be lonely without you. If we flip thing, we're bouncing all of our creatures, so probably not. A Johnny? That's interesting. Let's get haste. Oh, it does get haste. Vendillion click. Oh, yes. The problem with this is that the odds of us hitting a land on top is pretty low. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's what about forbid buyback? I don't know what you're asking right now. Yeah, that's not very good. <laughs> we'll be scrying that to the bottom. Wow. 
Why don't you have indestructible? Or uh, vigilance, rather. So what do you have? One, we have to block one, two, three, four creatures. One, two, three, four. So we can attack with two. We know you have Westvale Abbey on the top. Which is pretty, pretty busted. V-click doesn't draw us cards. You cannot choose a land. We can take the Ajani, that's true. My problem is that they're probably just going to play Westvale Abbey and activate it. Maloku is really good. Oh, Hornet Queen as well. Holy smokes. Your deck is great. I'll take the Ajani. I think we win if they don't if they don't kill us, I think we win. Oh yeah, we definitely win if they don't kill us here. Time warp is insane. Okay, we just have to brave this one turn. So we know five of their cards. We know these four. We know four of the five cards in their hand. Wow. All right. So. <sighs> okay, we don't want to force spike because that would flip thing in the ice with time warp, and we really don't want a time warp. We don't want to flip thing in the ice. Wow, this game has been nuts. We have a minute less than them, so we could... I have a feeling they're going to do this, which puts them like 21. But it makes them have no guys, and if we get Thing in the Ice, it's pretty busted. Then I almost want to flip this. We could also play Maloku, make a guy, and block with the guy, which I think is actually correct. Does that have Vigilance too? No, just Indestructible Haste. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna flash in Maloku, make a guy. How many? How much mana do we need for this? Five, six, seven, eight. We have plenty. What are you getting back? Mere Battle Sphere. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Like even despite the nine life, taking two turns and dealing at least. 11 per turn is pretty good. So this is, you have Xenagos, Hornet Queen, Gideon, Battle, and one random card. Oh, they also can't, they can't have any tricks either, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're definitely keeping the Vendillion Click alive. Does not have Trample, right? Okay. I feel like we're there. I feel like their turn's over. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's weird. How did they know that? Oh, because they can see the time warp. Never mind. That's obvious. Wow, that game was insane. Whew. Good lord.
Old Man of the Sea can probably come in here. It takes uh, Oracle, it takes Corsair. It's not easy to deal with. Let's take out the Force Spike. Relic also seems like they have Green Warden. Didn't they have something else to get creatures back? Revoker seems good too. It can actually turn off a Johnny if we need it. I'll just do this. We also drew like 17, 15 out of 17 lands that game, so. <sighs> this hand's not great, but the sword is. So if we can draw land. Which I feel like we can. We did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sword of Body and Mind is game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Probably just going to go next turn V-click. Followed by Sword. Or Kira. The problem with Kira is uh, we can't equip and cast Sword on 5. It's interesting that you I'm intrigued Well, I'm not going to walk into a mana tile. They'll just play Vendillion Click on their turn. I guess they if they if we do that though, like I don't have I don't I'm not putting them on mana tithe. I don't think it's mana tithe. Maybe it is. Nope, not mana tithe. All right, well, Kira makes sword worse, but oh well. Put a counter on this? No. Vivian. That's pretty good. Oh, please try to destroy this. Oh, dang it. Dang. So good. I mean, I guess we just play sword and then try to equip... To oh, man. Vivian is real good against sword, though. Yep, magic's hard. See, if we played Vendillion Click on their turn instead, they could just pump Walking Blista and shoot the Vendillion Click, which is... I think that's not as good. Whereas now we get to Vendillion Click, and at least it stays safe for a turn. And then if... Like, we at least get a... No, we don't get a swing. Dang it. But they can only put this guy to two, so they can kill Vendillion Click, but they lose their Walking Blista, which is fine with me. Now we'll hire a Green Warden and a Johnny. We're going to get rid of the Johnny. So your hand is these four and one other card. God, Vivian's very, very good. She has a five, though, so we can kill her if they want to trade, if, unless they want to trade with Walking Blista. Okay. Their hand is not that exciting. They have no graveyard, so Green Warden's not super impressive. But I'm sure they drew something very, very good off of our Vendillion Click. No, just a counter. Okay. You're just going to shoot the Vendillion Click? I hope you shoot the Kira and try to kill it. That's my hope. I don't have good. I don't have a good feeling about it, but... Yeah, I'll take three. Dang. It's like they knew. Attack of Vivian Reed. Oh, man. I think 
we're just keeping Teferi up here. They can get their guy back, but I don't really care about that. So this is, we know five of the seven cards in your hand. Grove, four of six. Yep. Do you just get to, oh, dang. Brutal. Brutal. They can make a guy, too. Actually, no, they... Can they? Oh, so yeah, they yeah they can. They just can't act. They just can't cast spells. We can't kill Vivian with sword because we can't act. We can't equip the sword. I think we just play thing in the ice and careful consideration. Noble Hierarch is gone. Oh, wow. What do you do when you want all of these cards? Um, I don't think we care about Looter. We do want Forbid. We, do, we definitely want Time Warp. I guess we can get rid of Snapcaster. I think Sword still wins us the game if we can get rid of... Ugh, I don't know if that was good. That's hard to tell. Alright, well, it's your turn. You get to... Get to go nuts. Alright, sure. More lands. Green Warden getting back. Walking Ballista is not super good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight mana. You get to rest it on three lands. That's fine. That's not a super concern of mine. If we hit a land, we can kill a Vivian with sword, which is pretty nuts. We did, all right. Because we can put it on you and attack. So you played, you didn't play this. What did you play? Did you play, you played Temple Garden? Okay, so we know four cards and we know this is, okay, so we're gonna take a million, but we can just block with Thing in the Ice if we have to. Yeah, and we have to actually attack Vivian, otherwise she just kills the sword next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they actually have ten. No, they have ten mana, so they're not gonna have eleven. So they can go Green Warden, but they can't go Green Warden and Vivian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They will have ten. They'll be one shy of both. That's all I wanted to know. Which means we get to go attack you with, with Kira, attack you with Kira, time warp. And then we still get to keep up for a bit if we hit one land. That's pretty good.
Yeah, this guy's going to be a beating. We're going to have to chump here. I don't want to take a million. It'd be 13 damage. Yeah, I'm not about that. Oh, they can actually flip Westvale Abbey, though. Mm. I guess we could play Opposition and tap it. Yeah, we're going to do this. We only have two... Uh, Okay, good. They're not going to make Westvale. That's great. Green Warden. You played Clifftop. You played Green Warden, so you need two of the, the four cards in your hand. I assume you get Vivian Reed back. Oh, you have Walking Blister back. That's interesting. Blister for two. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Yeah, all right. I think we're in good shape here. Oh. Let's hope we don't have an Eldrazi, I guess. Two, three, four, five. Can't really do anything here, so just gotta take the extra turn. We do have to watch out for. Westvale Abbey. Which means we can actually play opposition here, which is pretty good. Keep up for bid. Yeah, this is pretty epic. All right. I think opposition hasn't been very good. You're crazy. It's always very good. We're going to tap down all their things. All their relevant things, anyway. In hindsight, if we kept Snapcaster, yeah, that would have been very good. But, you know what they say about hindsight. Marari's Wake. That seems formidable. Yeah, we know two of the four cards in your hand. We're going to just forbid this. Because now you don't have the mana to activate this. I guess you still do. But we're definitely tapping these two guys. We'll take one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll not. That's fine. Forest is gone. Yeah, opposition is going to win this game, I think. Good games. Woo! Are we 4-0 right now with this deck? Wow. That is crazy! Oh, Looter into Akira. Seems good. Yeah, 
Is there a way to add more time to your timer? No. Oh, I like a Thassa as well. I mean, there's 23 non-land cards in our deck. And sometimes some of them are going to win games. Like when opposition wins one game out of six, per se, it's still pretty good. If you hit zero, you lose, yes. That is correct. I mean, just like in a regular game of Magic, when time in the round ends, it's it, it's over. Hmm. I'm going to bottom that because... Well, we're just going to play Kira here. And next turn we can play Tempest Jin with protection. And if we hit a land, we can also play Thing in the Ice. I don't think we care about Thing in the Ice, though. No blocks. Did we clinch them? We clinched them. They have never been so clinched in all their lives. I think we do we do actually want this. We do want a fifth land though. We have three cards. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Mana. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over next turn. We can go uh, attack with everything. Time warp. Attack with everything again. Languish is pretty insane here. We lose everything except for Thassa, and they get to put something under here. Damnation is good. Oh, interesting. I want another land so we can... Actually, if we attack and they block. Five, six, seven. We have no reason to not attack with to attack with everything here. I guess they're just hoping for no whammies, right? Oh wow, that game was real fast. Whew. Okay. Yeah, we could have also made Thass unblockable. We have a lot of options in our deck. A lot of different things we can do here. I like Revoker on Mimic Vat, I guess. My god. I mean, like... Also, both of the creatures we saw can be stolen by Old Man in the Sea. Um, take Opposition and Careful Consideration out. I'm not huge fans of those. Um... Kira has been insane in these matches. Yeah, worst case scenario, we can evoke a Mole Drifter. Look at all those beautiful islands. You are right. Oh, that's a good dude. I'm just gonna throw a Roker out there named Mimic Vat. If they want to kill this, that's fine. They can play a Mimic Vat, kill it, put it under the Mimic Vat. Next turn, I guess we're evoking this. If we don't, if we hit a land, we might just play Kira. Because then we could actually hit another land, and then we're just hitting all the lands.
Oh man, we're good at this game. Oh, oh boy. Here comes Toxic Deluge. Deluge for two. Also good. Land. Oh, God. I wanted to land so bad there. I'm just going to evoke Mole Drifter. Oh, man. Jace on an empty board would have been just amazing. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Scorpius, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Jesus. I think this game is over now. This guy is really hard for us to deal with. And we didn't hit a fourth land, so we're just going to go to the next game. That's not even... Um... Whatever. I think our deck looks fine. Now, Thing in the Ice has definitely been an underperformer. Kira been an overperformer. And they have Damnation. Now we're going to just save Revoker because they might have. Uh, we can just name Scarab God, which is very, very good. Uh, we didn't dismember Scarab God because it just comes back the next turn. So. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, we already have one sword in. We have Body and Mind, which should be fine. Oh, wow. That was a great draw. That's a great answer for Scarab God. And against the blue-black deck, this is probably going to survive. And it's great for Thassa. Man, Legacy's Allure is, does it all in this matchup. All of our cards are very hard for blue-black decks to deal with. If they do have Dismember on, they can Dismember Thassa. I think they did have a Dismember, didn't they? I'm going to auto-yield at both of these. Any land can go away. Um, Yeah, I don't care about Maloku right now. Any land can go away, he says as he draws a land and pitches a spell. Let's put you on top. I'm pretty sure we're just going to flash in Teferi and block the Gifted Aetherborn. That seems very good for me. And then they can't have any tricks. They could counter this. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Eat your guy. Actually, we're going to stop auto yielding. We might have responses. Damnation would be good, but Thassa survives. So it's just a one for one. Yep, that was what I was afraid of. But we do get to untap with a Teferi and a Jace. Oh boy. Oh wow. This might be better than. Heavy breathing. Oh, that is a lot of black cards. Vraska's Contempt, Thoughtseize, Chainer's Edict, Obnixilis, Inquisition, Distended Mindbender, Ultimate Price, Kalidus, a bunch of removal spells. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Again, Jace on empty board, which is really good. Luteral core. Land does not count for devotion, otherwise that'd be insane. You would just have like a Thassa would be just turned on turn four. 
You just go turn three Thassa with islands and then turn four. Yeah, I probably should have held the land though because we are looting. So also, like if they play a guy, we legacies allure it. Like if they don't, if they just kill looter, it's fine. We have a Jace. Trying to figure out how they get out of this mess. It doesn't look good. I'm just going to always Jace here. Oh boy. They're going to try to kill it in response. We might Pact of Negation this. And by might, I mean we will Pact of Negation this because this is a very strong play. And then we're going to draw Phyrexian Revoker. Mill you for 10 more. Discard Island. Yeah, I don't know what they can do here. <clears throat> They're dead next turn to Sword. We have two guys and we can flash in a guy at the end of their turn. Chainer's Edict is fine when we have a wolf token. And if they want to tap out for their turn... Knock yourself out. Wow, 3-0 with the mono blue deck. That is insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you want to support me on Patreon or Twitch, you can check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate the support. Bye.